Good day, friends. It is me, AHL Mod Tech, and I am back with another episode of Tinkercad TV. So let's get cracking. Now, friends, the goal of every episode of Tinkercad TV is to entertain and inspire. Today's design is absolutely awesome. So let me show you what we got. Good day, friends. It is me, AHL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, this is the ASF62 Gosshawk. It is created by Viral Funk Punk, and it is absolutely awe-inspiring. Friends, it comes with notes. I'll turn those on in a second. Let's just do a quick spin around, checking this out from the outside. Oh my gosh. Panels, details, decals. Once again, Viral Funk Punk, this is awesome awesome let's turn on those notes and see just what was shared of course i am using shift n that is the slickest way to get the notes back let's start right here this is the asf 62a if we zip over here we have got an onboard 30 millimeter gun and then if we look right over here these are the forward lev cons right here are the main lev cons Absolutely love that wing design. Love all these panels cut in. And then right here we have got the flaps. If we zip back this way, kind of a funky angle, but we have got the rudder vaders. That's awesome. And then of course right here we've got the variable engine cones and the cones are also ceramic plated. I like how the thrust vectors actually appear like they are rifled. Once again, I have to note the detail work on this is just fabulous. All these lines, marking, details. Check it out. We've even got the pilot's name, Tom Ackle. That's sweet. And there she is labeled as the Goss Hawk. Switching to this side, we have the ASF. 62B. As we check this out, we've got a sweet in-flight fueling port. That's pretty wicked cool. If we zip underneath, you can see right here we've got the nose landing gear completely tucked away. Right here we've got a forward internal missile bay. It has four AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles. Right over here, we have a wing-mounted missile bay. It can handle one AIM-9 Sidewinder X missile. As we zip around checking out this amazing ride from the top, we get back to the back. Notice this one has simplified engine covers. For the thrust vectoring, it's not as complex as what we saw on the ASF 62A. Notice they are also, though, created with the ceramic plating. Finally, if we look right underneath, right here is the rear internal missile bay. Also has two of the AIM-9X Sidewinder missiles. Finally, one more spin around and friends right there. Is where you'd find the main landing gear. Friends, a quick bit of history. This stealth aircraft is a successor to the ASF-55. It was introduced in 2042 and it was given to the United States Air Force. It is heavily based on the North American YF-23 Black Widow and the Russian Su-57. Two variants have been made, one focusing more on stealth and the other on aerial dominance. Both are single-seat aircraft and are supersonic aircraft. These jets would later be used to combat the rising threat in the Middle East and aggression from Russia. VFP used new tricks and shapes to create new and unique designs to achieve the sharpest possible shapes to create an exquisite aircraft. Of course, friends, I just want to say VFP, those were four days well spent, and thank you so much for sharing. Friends, remember if you ever create something awesome, like say you do my channel text tutorial and you want to share it with me, it is so easy. Simply click on this button right here, generate a link, copy that link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. I am also HL Tinkercad on Twitter. 
If those options aren't available to you, don't forget you can also visit my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing lessons. On this side, I've got day one favorites, useful starters in the middle, and then of course, Tinkercad essentials on the right. And then finally, down at the bottom is the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or share link and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to mention the link to the Tinkercad community disc Discord. As you can see, we have got a boatload of members and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Friends, I do also want to remind you about a couple of my essentials. First, there is the HL Mod Tech profile. I'm going to right click and open this in a new tab. If you peek over here, you'll be able to see all of my creations sorted by most recent. You can also click over here and switch to reactions. Friends, if you click on any of my tutorials, of course, reactions are appreciated. And if you look in the properties, you will likely find a tutorial. I do quickly want to highlight the HLMT23 new shares link. Friends, if you ever tag any project with HLMT23, I search this tag almost every day, and of course, when I click it, I will give you a reaction. It is a fantastic way to let me see your epic designs, and of course, hopefully, other people start searching and giving each other reactions here as well. Friends, as I wrap up this episode of Tinkercad TV, I just want to say thanks again to Viral Funk Punk. Oh my goodness, these are so darn awesome, and once again, Thank you so much for sharing your epic Tinkercad design skills with us. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.